Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can restore your device to its current firmware. That way you can basically just re-jailbreak it. You're not forced to update to the newest version of iOS. A little bit of backstory, I am on iOS 9.0.2. I'm currently jailbroken. I've been jailbroken since the jailbreak utility came out last fall. And since then, I've gone through and try out, tried out a lot of different tweaks from Cydia. So that has caused my device to kind of fill up with a bunch of crap. Uh, it's basically just due for a restore. And also, I keep getting stuck in a boot loop. So that's why I want to restore my device. So this is going to allow you to restore to the current firmware. And then you can just re-jailbreak, which is really awesome. Now, this is only possible if your device is currently jailbroken because we will be using... A Cydia utility it's called a Cydia impactor which is gonna allow us to do this so let's go ahead and let's jump into my, my device and I'll show you how to do it alrighty now we are in my device so I'm gonna quickly jump into the settings application go to general and about to show you guys I am on 9.0.2 uh, this method should work for any version of iOS 9 and also iOS 8 the only difference is, is on iOS 9, you're going to have to add a source in Cydia. So I'll leave the source uh, down in the description. So just go into your Cydia, go to sources, edit and add. Like I said, that source is in the description, but that's only if you're on iOS 9. If you're on iOS 8, you don't have to worry about it. So uh, what you're going to want to do is just go to the search tab and search for this uh, right here, Cydia Impactor. Like I said, this won't work for iOS 9 unless you've added that source. So go ahead, and, uh, go ahead and modify, click on install. I've already installed it on my device. So once you're done installing it, you'll return to Cydia. You can go ahead and exit out of Cydia and you will find the Impactor application on your device. As you can see, it's the little icon in the lower right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump out of the screen capture view here. Alrighty, so now I have opened up the Cydia Impactor application on my device. There's a bunch of stuff you can read about, but as you can see at the bottom, it says there, delete all data and unjailbreak device. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. This process will take a while, so I'm going to fast forward you guys through it so you're not sitting and watching my device basically restore. So let's just go ahead and let's do that now. As you guys can see, you have a com confirmation there. Let's go ahead and click on delete all. And then now Cydia Impactor will go through all of the different processes and I'll be back when it's all done. Alrighty guys, so sorry about it going out of focus a bunch of times. I was trying my best to keep it in focus, but as you guys can see, we are at the kind of default, normal, kind of hello setup screen. So I'm going to go ahead and set my device up and I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty guys, I just got done doing the initial factory iPhone setup and I just got into my device. So let's go ahead and let's jump into the settings here. Let's go into general and about and I am still on version 9.0.2. Uh, that whole process did take quite a while. So that kind of um, Cydia Impactor loading screen that you guys saw with all the different coding and stuff on there, that took about 15 to 20 minutes for it to finish. So it does take quite a while uh, to actually um, restore your device doing it that method. So give it some time. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how you're going to restore your device on your current firmware. So then you can just go ahead and re-jailbreak if you have to. That way you don't lose your, your jailbreak. You don't have to update to the newest version of iOS if you don't want to. So very cool method. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. If it did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more guides or tutorials like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.